Well, today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be checking out Gibson's Overdrive, so to speak. Today, we're going to be checking out the Maestro Ranger Overdrive. Let's get into it. So what's going on everybody? Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. My name is Ray. I'm a guitar player here on YouTube and I'm stoked to do this video, man, because who doesn't love putting pedals in front of your amplifier as a metal player to just make it scream, you know what I mean? So Maestro came out, you know, the, the announcement was released, I don't know, maybe about a week, week and a half at the time of this filming, and everybody was super jazzed up, myself included, because uh, anytime, you know, we get a new line of pedals, this is fun, dude. Um, so Maestro is a company that was like back in the day, way before I was born, maybe even my parents, but it's back now. And so this amongst several other pedals are out in a new line and, um, the overdrive is certainly one that I wanted to check out. So what I'm going to do today is just reset up my room right here and, uh, I'm just going to just grab a Les Paul and then just chug a little bit using my victory Kraken and then, uh, just hang out with you all. Okay. So let's get into that right now. All right, everybody. So let's check out the Ranger Overdrive, man. So I got my Gibson Les Paul standard tuned down to drop C sharp with some Seymour Duncans in it. And then the Ranger Overdrive is going into the front of my Victory Super Kraken on channel two. Now the Super Kraken doesn't have a lot of gain and it's on purpose because, uh, well, I have it dialed into where it doesn't have a lot of gain and that's on purpose because I want to allow this pedal to really shine and, um, you know, do the legwork. So here's my tone without um, the uh, pedal engaged. <laughs> Very class classic rock sounding, like very just jangly, kind of, I don't know, it sounds like a Marshall or something. Um, but yeah, man, let's kick this thing off and see what it does. So right off the bat, it like cuts high end and just adds like some more warmth to it. And I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but it certainly does. Let me check this out. Off. Not bad. Um, all right, let's just start tweaking, man. I don't know if that's right, but that's certainly um, my attempt at um, one of my heroes' favorite songs, um, Fluff. Uh, anybody know that tune? Let me know. But uh, yeah, dude, um, right off the bat, I mean, it kind of just, like I said, just kind of adds a little bit of warmth to it, cuts out some of the high end. Um, it's not like incredibly rowdy just yet, but let's just mess with it, man. <laughs>
I don't know, man. So I gotta say, for the one of the first times ever using an overdrive pedal, I kind of like it better um, where the level's not cranked and the and the gain's all the way down, like you know the typical overdrive setting. I kind of like it dead even. I don't know, like cranking up a little bit of the gain, giving it some of that that warmth and cutting the high end, just that warm tone. Um, but also too, not having it super out of control because this is a little too much for me. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, it kind of sounds good too, but <laughs> I think, you know, for a rhythm tone, like, you know, this might be a little better. It just growls, man. You know what I mean? Like, that just sounds so good to me. Um, yeah. It sounds like an overdrive <laughs> you know what i mean like it does what it, overdrives do um in terms of like its uniqueness if there is any i love well i shouldn't say i love what's different about this pedal is i just like everything dead noon for whatever reason um the high switch everything at dead noon um i don't know man it just like adds warmth it cuts out some high end just adds a little bit of body a little bit of a little bit of saturation but all at the same time um not being too harsh or anything like that. It's just like a very, you know, usable sound. Um, I'm actually pretty impressed and pretty content with my purchase. Um, it's not like a disappointment at all, and it's unique. Something about this pedal, just, it's a unique sound. Um, now, does it do the metals very well? I mean, it's to be, I guess, you know, argued in the comments section. Um, but I just think it has this a unique sound. And this is the first pedal that I've ever really come across where like everything dead noon, don't crank up one thing more than the other. It sounds best to my ears. And, um, you know, maybe next week it'll sound completely different or with it, or maybe next week I'll have a completely different setting and then I'll like that more. But for right now, for this video, I just like everything just straight down the middle. And that's pretty unique and pretty refreshing. So everybody, that's going to do it for this video, man. Just a quick little video, dude. So I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me, man. I had a whole lot of fun just, just jamming and riffing on, you know, my favorite Les Paul that I own. So anyway, everybody, I'm out of here. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay metal. And I'll see you guys next time. Later.